Hello and welcome back, and today I want to take a bit of a controversial talk and discuss Rivian. So for those who don't know, Rivian is an electric car vehicle maker. They make uh, electric trucks, and they recently IPO'd just the other day, and I think they IPO'd at a price of $100 billion, and since then, the stock is up 58%, so then I guess it was $80 billion. Um, and it's up 58% since it IPO just a couple days ago, and it's now worth $136 billion market cap. Um, so I just want to discuss this because I, at my core, I'm a value investor. I believe in growth, but I believe in growth at a reasonable price. So um, if I were to look at Rivian, let's look at it through my framework. So one, product. From everything I've heard, the products are actually really good. Um, it's a good-looking car. If we look at the Rivian truck. Uh, it's nice looking, heard good reviews, uh, so the product seems good. It is electric, uh, and I am a huge fan that the believer that the future is going to be all electric, so I think that product-wise, they have a great idea. Um, macro environment, um, you know, I think we're in an inflection point. Everyone's going towards EVs. We've heard, um, you know, Ford and GM all talk about how they're going to have to start transitioning towards EVs more and more. Um, so I think there's massive growth um, in the market trends. Um, there's a lot of froth right now. So I think people are looking for speculation and looking for the next Tesla. And, and that's really how Rivian is pitching himself as the next Tesla. Um, now, I actually don't think that's good for them. I think that if you wanted to make a, a quick buck, you could have invested in this. And again, you would have made a really nice amount of money very quickly. Um, but again, I'm looking at this as a long-term investment. And when I look at it, we have to look at valuation. So Rivian, revenue. So, so far, Rivian has $0 in revenue as of last year. Now, actually, they sold, um, and you can see your other things, a truly scary valuation, dangerous market cap. This is basically betting on that they can become the next Tesla. They currently have no, uh, they've delivered, I think, 150 cars, and they were all to employees. Um, and if we remember, Tesla went through production hell and had a lot of ups and downs based on theirs. And, and if we actually look like now, Tesla's over $1 trillion, but this is when an IPO, 2010. Now, obviously they had to prove out that it could work, but they, it took them all the way, lots of ups and downs until here, February, 2020. That is actually, I checked the date when they crossed $130 billion market cap and it was right there. Same thing right here. That's when they crossed it. And if we remember, they went through multiple downswings. They were down 30%. I think actually they were down even more at one point from a peak um, because of production hell. It is difficult to scale production at this level. Very difficult. So given that, um, you know, I actually was listening to the All In podcast and they were talking about it and Jason Calacanis said he thinks it's worth $20 billion and, and Jamath was actually defending the valuation. I don't understand how you could ever defend this valuation. Yeah, you could argue it's twenty billion. You could argue anywhere in between, but I don't think it's reasonable to expect a company with zero dollars in revenue to be worth one hundred and forty billion dollars. Um, so I'm not really going to give. I guess I'll give my back of the envelope math. So you know, when Tesla IPO, they were worth two and a half billion. One and a half billion. Sorry. Um, I think that the market's obviously probably much more, much hotter right now. And I also think that Rivian is coming in. Uh, electric vehicles have already been proven out. They have a huge cash short. A big reason why Tesla was so shorted was because lots of people thought they were going to go to business. Uh, Rivian's raising $17 billion. So right off the bat, the company, the market cap should be $17 billion because it's $17 billion of cash. And then what do you think the actual business is? Another reason why a lot of people are betting on this is Amazon has actually purchased Amazon Rivian. First of all, Amazon's one of the biggest investors. In um, it's not owned by Amazon, but they own a 20% portion, and they're a major investor, um, and they're actually looking to buy 100,000 delivery vehicles from Rivian. Um, obviously, Amazon has a huge delivery network. They're trying to build that out, and when you're delivering things, um, if you can bring down your cost of delivery by reducing uh, wear and tear on the cars um, and fuel costs, you can pass that savings along, and Amazon's all about how do we lower costs long term. And while it made perfect sense for Amazon to work with Tesla on this, uh, Jeff Bezos and 
and Elon Musk obviously had beef, so he divided, decided to fund his own EV company, basically. It's also backed by Ford. Um, so there's definitely, I don't think this company's going bankrupt. No chance. They've got $70 million, they got a massive backer, they do have a backlog of orders from Jeff Bezos. So, yeah, you can see it. Jeff Bezos' desire to spite Elon Musk. So the company's worth something, and it's got money, it's been proven out, it's a good product. I think there's a real market here. The question is, so it's not worth zero. At the low end, it's worth 17. If the business is worth nothing, and it's just worth the cash. And on the high end, it's worth whatever it is now, which is 140-ish billion. So where do we think that lands? If you ask me, again, this is you can't really value this company because they have no revenue. You cannot value a company if they don't have revenue. But if you ask me, I would look at where in the life cycle are they compared to Tesla. I think that they're right around here where um, Tesla had was saying, oh, we're going to start scaling, but they're going through production hell. I think that you could see a similar thing where they have a drawdown as they have difficulties delivering. But at the time, Tesla was worth mm, $50 billion. So if they $50 billion plus another $17 billion, again, these are just back in the envelope numbers. So $50 plus $17-ish, $67. So in my mind, stock's about overvalued by double. I think it's worth about... 50 to 70 billion, if you, if you ask me. But again, this is the, the beauty about the market, but the tough thing, it's worth whatever anyone's willing to price it at. And currently, you actually can't buy put options, which are a way to think the company will go short. In fact, when IPOs start, it's very tough to bet against the company, which is why you often see a pop. Um, I do think this company will go through troubles. I do think you will see a 20 to 30 plus percent drawdown in this company, especially from these peaks. I wouldn't be surprised if it was 50 or 60, like I said. Um, but the company's definitely worth something. So I would, if you're looking to trade this thing short term, get my approval. You can do that. But if you want to hold this thing for 10 years, I think it's extremely speculative. And if you ask me, right now, uh, Tesla's at $1 trillion, and this is at 136 So Tesla's worth about seven times more than Rivian. If you ask me, in 10 years, is Tesla worth more or less than seven times more than Rivian? I think Tesla. So if you're really trying to bet on an EV, I just say go with the best, go best in class. They already have scale. They already have the brand. They, they're already uh, doing amazing things. And they're the greatest inventor of our generation, which is Elon Musk. Bet on Tesla if you are a believer. I'm actually going to post another video shortly about another idea I have about how to kind of play Rivian and Tesla against each other. Because again, you know, Rivian, even if it does go up, I still think Tesla will go up more in it. Because again, I really do think why take the risk on this that it'll 10x? I think there's a lot of risk baked in for a company with no revenue right now and a lot of execution risk. Tesla already has proven they can scale and they have, again, they have the, they have one of the biggest battery manufacturers, they have the brand, they have the, the, the brains, and they also have a whole other section with autonomous and with energy storage. So I think there's a lot more potential with Tesla than there's with revenue uh, with uh, Rivian. So uh, this has been my thoughts on Rivian. I'm staying away. I think you could see 30 plus percent drawdowns uh, in the long term. Again, short term, who knows what will happen. You could go up another 30 uh, percent while I'm talking. So but I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, are you buying or selling Rivian? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, thanks so much and have a great day.